Hello and welcome to the tutorial series by QuickSight.com. In this tutorial, we are going to go over and review how to install um, extensions and templates or modules um, from the Joomla community or um, other sites that you may have purchased these from. Um, as always, log in. And in order to do this, it's very simple. Um, you go into your extensions and you select install or uninstall and basically it's going to ask you upload package file now regardless of whether it is a template or whether it is a extension it's basically the developer or whoever you get the Joomla component from is going to package it into a zip file and it will be something that you can download usually from their site if it's a component or module that they sell of course you would have to purchase it but nonetheless you download it and it's going to be existing as a file on your desktop and when it comes time to install that into your platform here um, you just use your extension manager extension manager and you select the file on your system from the browse feature here so for this example I'm just going to select this uh, Joomla comment select upload and when it uploads it will say install component success and usually there's something about the developer or the maker and now since I've installed it if I go up to components there it is the Joomla comment and just like these other areas we've gone over in previous tutorials this inserts a brand new functionality or extension into your website and just like an arm is an extension of you, these are extensions that increase uh, the functionality of your core platform. Um, and so you can go to manage comments. And again, there are literally thousands of extensions out there on the web. On Joomla.org, I believe there's over 4,000 at the time of this tutorial. So there is a vast sea of opportunities and features and things that you can integrate into your current platform here and this is how you do it you just use the install feature browse the file that you would get from the website whether it's a free download or a paid download and then you would browse your system and upload that file um, let's say that I want to uninstall something you'll notice that these links are always provided here and the new thing I just installed, the Joomla comment, is actually under the components. So I would go to components, and again the process is very simple, and uh, there it is. Now as you can see that the compatibility is, uh, well I guess I have to go into my plugin and turn legacy mode on, which, uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. Legacy mode is a uh, mode that is given or I guess it uh, it basically allows your site to accept older modules or modules programmed in a, a fashion that was used for earlier Joomla versions and your legacy mode is right there but uh, let's just go ahead and show you how to uninstall things you would go to your components and it shows all the components that you have in place some um, are grayed out they won't let you click them because they're needed for the functioning of the site but this is one that we uh, added externally so of course we can delete it and you'd simply select the radio button by it and click uninstall and then it will say uninstall component success and now it is gone so when I now mouse over components I don't see it there anymore and the same with templates um, the exact same you would just browse for the file that corresponds to the template and when you do it will stick the template into your template manager which if you mouse over it shows you all the templates that uh, these are free that come with the platform and there's a uh, there's a bunch of free templates out there with Joomla there's just thousands of them so um, have fun with your extensions and modules they are really a powerful way to drastically enhance the functionality of your site and um, value to your users and basically how you plug them in is just like building with Lego blocks. You simply uh, plug them in and place them on top. And you do that by this tool here, install and uninstall. 
and just browse your site for the corresponding file and upload it and your platform will actually know where to place it whether it should be going to the components whether it should go to the plugins modules or templates it'll take care of all that for you so um, hope that helps and that concludes this tutorial